If I'm gonna do street photography, I'll listen to jazz. That's more of a sporadic vibe that allows me to sort of catch just rhythm within the streets. I like capturing the moment in between the moment. Because that's what life is, this combination of really shitty days and really good days. My name is Eric Veloso, photographer by trade, now an editor slash creative director for this company called Street Dreams Magazine. Vancouver is like a super huge driving city where you have to literally take a car everywhere that you go. In order for me to evolve as a photographer, I had to scale it back a little bit. So I decided three years ago to just stop driving, got a bus pass, and just started walking everywhere. Just started looking for things that maybe necessarily I wasn't seeing because I was just passing it by too fast. See how these lines lead into this line, which leads into this line? Which eventually, no, like... No, I wouldn't see that. <laughs> you, you see that. You I see purple only. Yeah. <laughs> Our issue three release, which we did in Read Space, supposedly they estimate 500 people out on the streets. We're trying to get into this like 80 person maximum retail store to come see an art show. This magazine is because of these people and the work that they do out there that we just want to be able to have everybody come rock with us. Growing up in Vancouver is kind of unique. Everyone's kind of reserved and like in their own world. I always longed for like that sense of community in a sense. So I think that's what kind of in a, in a weird way plays into all of this because now it feels like we're being able to create this photographic community that's just now being able to grow with us. Before I actually went into this whole freelance photography thing, like I was just working like a regular job. Everything was going great up until like about two years ago, right before I started the magazine. I was just getting to the point where I was sitting in my car every day being like, oh shit, I gotta go in here again. Either you're gonna shut up and not complain about this anymore, or you're just gonna like take a leap and just like do something that's just like outside of the box. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> I got a saying. Are you ready for it? What's that? There isn't Wi-Fi in the forest, but I can guarantee you'll make a better connection. I like that. But it would be pretty cool if there was Wi-Fi in the forest. We have people in there that have shot for 20 years, and we have people's pictures who've been shooting for 20 minutes. And it's just like really based on the work. We just want to be this platform. What Street Dreams really means is putting your foot to the pavement every day. It doesn't really matter whether you're rich or poor. Everybody walks the same streets. The end goal for all of this, embody what our first year's motto was, and that's wake up and do what you love. As long as I have a clear vision of what it is that I'm trying to achieve in my life, I'm gonna be able to try to navigate through it and uh, get to where it is that we're eventually all trying to get to. I think that's what it's all about. You live in the dream? I think so. 